And we're back in the kitchen now with Megan McCosey. She's the author of The New Southwest. It's a brand new cookbook with some really unique twists on Southwestern cuisine. And I am so excited about this recipe because we're talking about being heart healthy. And sweet potatoes are so good for you. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Even though the bacon that's in them may not, not be so, so good for you, but it certainly <laughs> tastes good. And you're making sopes. What is that? So sopes are made with um, a traditional masa dough. That's the same thing that is used to make um, uh, corn tortillas. Okay. So it's not the same thing as corn meal or even corn flour. It's specially corn meal treated with lime. Um, and then you, it's very easy. It's a great way to learn how to get into southwestern cuisine by learning how to work with masa and to make masa because you can make tortillas out of them. You can make these thicker sopes out of them. There's so many things you can make with is there Is there more of a health benefit? Um, not to necessarily. This, These particular sopes are fried, so not oh. necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> so they should put them in the grease. There you go. Right. But but you are but you are stuffing them with things that are very, absolutely very so. Good. And that's the fun thing about sopes is that you can top them with just about anything. Okay. Um, I've even seen sweet topped ones. You can put honey on top. But today what we're doing is we're making um, a sweet potato topped mixed with bacon. It's a sweet potato puree, mm -hmm. um, and we have some caramelized onions in there, so it is savory. Um, but these are really really popular, of course, because of the bacon, but mm -hmm. they have a really nice flavor, and these sopes are so fun to serve for tailgating or any other event like that. All right, so we've already made, so we do so, these ahead of time. Exactly. Can we freeze these after they're finished? You can, okay. and that's why, that's another real reason why I love using them for entertaining is because you can make them really far in advance. They keep really well. They're mm -hmm. nice and thick, and um, you don't have to worry about, um, you can set them up in advance. And this is some cilantro. You exactly. want me to start chopping this Sure, that would be great. That? So okay. we make off our uh, sope shells in advance, and then we make up the sweet potato puree. And like you said, they can both be made in advance. Okay. Um, and then we just put them on top and serve them up. Um, they're typically served at room temperature. So, um, you know, and I like to make my, my sopes really big, but you can make them any size. And like I said, you can top them with anything. They're really, really versatile. Now, the sweet potatoes that you used, exactly. obviously you did those ahead of time. Uh -huh. You peel them. Right. And then you make this puree with the, with the onions and the bacon. Exactly. And so what about this particular mixture? Okay. Do you do that So we have our, 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 our mashed sweet potatoes, and we're just stirring in some um, crispy bacon, some caramelized onions, a little bit of cumin and seasoning, okay. um, and um, it, it just gives a really, really nice flavor. The sweet from the sweet potato works so well with the bacon, mm -hmm. um, and the caramelized onion has a little bit of sweet as well. So it's sort of the sweet, salty flavor that everybody's Love you know that. loving these days. And what about baking this once you've stepped them all in? Um, exactly. Well, so we fry off the um, the sope shells, and then we just serve them room temperature once we've topped oh, them. So, so you don't even need to warm them up. Yeah, wow. it's really that easy. It's convenient, exactly. it's simple. It's, I'm thinking exactly. we have to put this in the oven. Nope. So then you top them with the fresh cilantro. Top with the fresh cilantro. Okay. Um, it's a really nice little garnish. Everybody usually likes that. Well, some people don't, but you know, everybody likes to have the option at least of having a little bit right. of rice I'm grabbing cilantro. A, I'm grabbing okay. a fork. I mean, earlier, oh, you know what? You have this back here. We got to bring this yep. to the front. And so, this was our egg dish that we made in the last segment, which looks amazing. You said it really does feed a lot, and it, it does. does. It does. So it's I can hearty. just take a piece Yeah, here. so help yourself. And um, like I said, I really love serving these these particular sopes with the sweet potatoes this time of year. They're so fun, and mm. I always just like bust them out for you know tailgating or parties or and whatever. And it's interesting because I thought that was going to be sweet, but it's not no, sweet, which is no, nice. No, it's really really nice. Mm. It's sweet with well, the little bit of sweet from the sweet potato, but the salty play from the the sope shell and the, the bacon. And it's room temperature, ready to go. I guess exactly. you could pop it in the oven. You, you could, you could absolutely warm, warm mm -hmm. it up. They're you know just like the migas that we made earlier. You can really customize to your flavor. To your oh, flavor interest. I love that. Yeah. And what are you going to make first? We're doing dessert next. We're doing dessert next. We've got some Hello Dolly bars coming up. Um, great Hello for dessert. Dolly bars. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Well, we're going <laughs> all the way through the cookbook today. Megan, we appreciate you. And we have all these recipes on sonoranliving.com.